John here, guys, and today we're talking about the Redux Air, Redux 32 50 amp ESC. This is uh, one of the most innovative ESCs I've seen in a long time. It's developed specifically for the rigors of top level competitive drone racing. Wake up, daddy, son. Welcome home, son. Uh, and why is that so significant? There's been a number of departures in traditional electronic speed controller design that have been done for this ESC specifically. And let's just, spoiler alert, this is the one that was used to win the MultiGP World Championship by Sorn, AKA Fat Kid. He won using this ESC, so I wanted to get my hands on it and find out what the deal is. This is actually a prototype, uh, but the final result is gonna be very similar. It's just gonna have a little bit larger pads on there for you to make it a little bit easier to solder up. Now, what are they doing differently than a lot of the other ESCs out there? Well, one, they're using high quality Toshiba FETs. These are the highest quality of FETs. Uh, <laughs> and they are using them in a layout that puts a FET right next to each motor pad and it also pulls those FETs out to the edge of that. Um, the other thing is a lot of people still kind of say to this day, I want to run a 30 by 30 ESC. I want to run 30 by 30 ESC because it has more um, robustness. It's not going to burn up as easily. Well, what these guys have done is they realize racers want to save every gram possible. They want to run a 2020 flight controller like this Talon flight controller right here. So they've actually given you the footprint of a 30 by 30 ESC with all of the reliability and power that you can pack into a larger size PCB, but giving you 20 by 20 mounting. That accomplishes several things in that one design choice. One, it puts your stack very small and tiny. You kind of get the best of both worlds. Two, it pulls those FETs out and the motor pads out to the edge so that you can fully access both of them. If you need to do a motor swap, you can access these pads without having to take the stack apart at all. And then two, it keeps the FETs on here uncovered um, when you're flying. So when you're in a racing frame like this one, this is the Redux Air Raven frame right here that I reviewed on the channel. When you're flying along, what do you notice? your fats are gonna be getting a full delivery of cool air as you're flying along at top speeds around the race course. That is an instrumental um, design choice in this. If you look at the bottom of the ESC and the top, you see you have these dual row of caps on board and then you have some additional stuff right here, the F3 processor that makes this to be able to perform at a faster level than most of the other ESCs out there. You can run 96 kilohertz PWM frequency on this, no problem. It also includes a 28 volt TVS diode on the battery pad to further mitigate voltage spikes. So this thing, you know, as it sits, has an onboard capacitance level of 1200 microfarads. It's basically like if you had a giant cap on here. Now as a racer, you're gonna run an additional cap as well, so you're gonna have that in conjunction with the TVS diode that you have right here is going to give you a huge amount of voltage surge protection. Now, why do we need that? That's because in racing, we're going to go along and hit a gate at full speed. And that is where components burn. It's that instantaneous impact, that huge voltage spike. So by having all the proper size FETs, by having high acting um, processing power on board by having capacitance on board and that diode, you're gonna end up with something that can really withstand the rigors of racing better than almost anything else out there. So there's a lot of great choices on the market, um, but if you want something that's race proven, you know, if you look at the guys at Nationals, the top 20 people, there was several running this. I think Propsicle was also running this top of the line Toshiba 40 volt rated in channel MOSFETs. Come on guys. What do you think in the comments guys? What are you running for your racing setup in 2021? Are you gonna do something like this? Is this gonna be a popular trend that's catching on? So far I haven't seen 
anyone do anything like this. You know, it's such a small world. Soren Fat Kid was down racing with us here in Houston like two Thanksgivings ago. And I had heard his name. I chatted with him a little bit. It seemed like a really good kid. I had no idea a couple years later he would be champion of the world. Just crazy how some of those paths cross it sometimes. I remember that time he was having a little bit of trouble because a couple of his quads were down. Well, he obviously found something that was gonna work without interruption. And the ESC was this. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.